In this video we're going to take a look at the inflate brush. So let's go ahead and tap B to bring up our brushes. And go ahead and hit I to bring up the brushes that start with I. And go ahead and tap N or click on here for inflate. So let's just take a look real quick what this brush does. Um, it does exactly what it sounds like it's going to take an area and it's going to actually inflate it and pump it up as if you're um, pushing air into something like a balloon and you can see this um, this brush is quite useful for different scenarios um, if you need to build up volume in something really quickly like you can see this uh, the stomach area if I wanted to blow this out real quick it'd be easy with the uh, inflate brush one thing you got to be a little bit careful is that uh, this brush will make surfaces run into each other. So you can see how this will keep blowing up and blowing up until all these uh, surfaces run into each other and create some hard edges or problems. And that might be an effect you're going for, but uh, most of the time I would say probably not. So this works really well in conjunction with uh, using your mask. So let's say we mask off this part of the arm and I hit inverse on that. So control I and then I just go ahead and take my inflate brush and blow this up some like so. Just going to smooth some of those results out a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of my mask and then remesh for Dynamesh, holding down control and dragging a marquee in the open viewport here. So you can see um, what we're able to uh, to do with something like that. And you could make, uh, you know, an even more elaborate looking mask than what we drew out. And I'm going to hit control I to inverse that mask. So you can't even hold down Alt and you can tell it to um, do an inflate but with a negative a negative value so that's a possibility as well and then I can just remesh that so if I went here and put this on a circle and if I was to drag out from the center here hold down Alt, and drag that in. If I just smooth that out, you can see it's going to maybe produce some bad geometry, but I can smooth that out. If I go too crazy with uh, the geometry, it's going to um, give me some problems. And I wasn't paying attention to the mask that I was making, so that mask went all the way through the model, so I'm going to need to uh, mask that portion off. So I just have this here. So I'm going to hold down Alt, just kind of smooth this out a little bit. You can see how that's going to give us some kind of cool shapes right there like that. So I need to actually draw that off the model. I'll put that on, back on rectangle. There we go. And I've remeshed that. And this is basically going to um, give you the different options for the inflate brush.